Hello, oh, this is Ruth Ann. Welcome to my channel. Today is a video that was requested by a few people in my replies to one of my last videos where I had um, included Ted Lapidus Rumba or Rumba in, in a haul video or in, I forget if it was a video of what I was wearing. Anyway, um, I had said that I would do a review of Rumba and so here it is. So I don't do a lot of solo perfume reviews, but this one is worthy of it, I believe. So Rumba is by Ted Lapidus and is a French perfume. This is officially considered an amber floral. However, I would say in having worn it and put a pretty good dent in it, as you can see, um, this really wears more like a Chypre. So it's an amber floral that has Chypre-like qualities, I would say, without being technically a Chypre. Rumba came out in 1989. The perfumer is Jean-Claude Elena, who, whom I am not familiar with. I don't know what other perfumes he has uh, produced. The top notes, now this is a real Heinz 57 type, lot of notes, very complex fragrance, which makes for a very interesting wear of this perfume. Um, perfume. So I'm going to try to run through the notes quickly because there's a lot of them. And I would highly encourage you to go to Fragrantica if you want to look at it um, more carefully. Top notes are plum, peach, mirabelle, orange blossom, basil, bergamot, and raspberry. Mid notes are honey, marigold, carnation, tuberose, heliotrope, jasmine, gardenia, rose, magnolia, orchid, lily of the valley. Base notes, leather, oak moss, plum, ambergris, sandalwood, styrax, patchouli, musk, tonka bean, vanilla, and cedar. Now, um, that's all of them that are listed on Fragrantica. I would say the notes that I get mostly out of wearing this perfume is the patchouli in the opening mixed with the basil. In the mid, the honey comes through only sparingly. Mostly what I get is the marigold, carnation, and lily of the valley. In the base notes, what comes through most strongly is oak moss, sandalwood, and cedar. Now, I think a lot of the complexity of this perfume comes from the ambergris. Styrax is actually a woody note that is not very commonly used anymore. But the predominant note on this one, again, is oak moss. So this really wears, if you want to get my basic quick impression, is this is a patchouli, oak moss, cedar, sandalwood fragrance. The multiple types of florals blended, is this is a very well blended perfume. You don't really get any, any floral or fruity note that comes out specifically. It's just kind of a, a very great mixture. And there's a lot of, if you look on Fragrantica, a lot of people hate this fragrance and a lot of people really love it. It's one of those love it or hate it type fragrances. And it's very old school. It wears like a 1970s musky animalic mixture, to be honest. It's very peppery in the opening. It's also got some real herbal qualities to it from the basil. That oak moss always adds a lot of woodiness and it really grounds the fragrance well. And the strange thing is, is this really is a very complex fragrance. So as you wear it, it morphs, it evolves. When I say it first starts out as a real peppery patchouli with herbal notes, a couple of hours in, I actually will get whiffs of honey and sweetness. And you're like, what is this perfume doing now? So it's one of those where I have to sniff it throughout the day and say, all right, what is this perfume doing now? Because it's going to change from hour to hour. And then some days when I wear it, it's more honeyed sweet. And other days, it's much more woody, earthy, animalic. So it will vary from day to day, hour to hour. It's very elegant, sophisticated. This is a perfume that has a lot of personality. The performance here is seven to eight hours on skin, longer on clothing. Definitely to my nose, when I spray it before bed, it's still going strong in the morning. 
It'll turn down to a skin scent 78 hours in, but 10 hours it's still there if you're looking for it. I would say if in the genre of this perfume, if you like Halston, if you like Bijan, okay, these fragrances are similar, probably the most similar to Roomba that I can compare. They're not dupes of one another, but they're in the same genre. I would say if you like Bijan, if you like Halston, you will definitely like Roomba. Another couple of fragrances that have similarities to my nose are Jantu, and I think it's because Jantu, this is a very floral dominated fragrance, but this has uh, sage in it where Roomba has um, basil. And you know sage and basil are kind of similar, and to my nose it really comes across as like they were cousins, not sisters, but cousins. Another one also is Charlie. Charlie is a very strong oak moss dominated fragrance, and because Roomba has a lot of oak moss, if you like Charlie, I would say you'd like Roomba. If you like Jean Tu, you may also like Roomba. Even though, like I said, they're they're different, but they have similar qualities. Cousins, not siblings. Um, that's my take on Roomba. It's gorgeous. It is one of my absolute favorite perfumes, but it's because I like that genre. It's definitely more challenging. Also, I wanted to say it's very economical. I bought Roomba for about $24 on eBay. You could probably pick it up at a discounter as well. Like I said, I buy almost all of my fragrances on uh, eBay from trusted sellers. I've never, ever gotten a bad fragrance from a trusted seller. The only bad fragrances I've gotten that were spoiled were from um, discounter sites that sell overstock discount things, um, not not specifically perfumers. I've never, ever had a problem with a trusted seller on, on eBay. For under $30, this is one of the best fragrances you can get. And that is my review. I love this fragrance. It's beautiful. I don't want to get overly wordy and talkative with you. I want to get to the point. So anyway, highly recommend. Excellent fragrance. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.